Acts 4 and 12 says, neither. neither. There is no other name. Whereby? There, there is no salvation in the other. For there is no other name given among men whereby we must be saved. Amen. The name Jesus is the only saving name that we have. If we abandon that name and start baptizing any other way, we abandon a truth that has the power to forgive sin. If you've never been baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ, today examine the scriptures. Acts 2, Acts 10, Acts 19, Acts 8. Read them. You got records over records over records of where everybody in the New Testament church was baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. We can't abandon it. No matter how controversial it may seem, and folk don't want to do it nowadays, we cannot abandon Amen. the name of Jesus. And we can't feel bad about talking about it. Amen. Don't try to make us feel bad. Oh, all oh, they're talking about the baptism. Oh, they're making a big deal over that. I don't feel bad. Amen. But I am persuaded. Amen. Amen. That there's no other name that can save me. And I am not ashamed Amen. of the gospel of Jesus Christ. For it is the power of God unto salvation. You're not going to make me feel bad about holding up Jesus' name. Amen. And if you don't like Jesus' name, then you ought not to be in the church. Why are you here? Amen. I know I'm saying people say they worship Jesus. Praise him. But when I say be baptized in his name, you get mad and want to fight. Why? Amen. You said you loved him. Amen. You said you worship him. So why do you fight his name in water baptism? We can't abandon Amen. baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. Say it all over the building. We can't abandon the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. Amen. I could never be comfortable seeing thousands of people come to an altar, raising their hands. And repeating a sinner's prayer. Mm. And then I send them away and say, Now you're saved. Right. Knowing that they've never experienced the infilling of the Holy Ghost. But yet I did. And if I truly experienced the baptism of the Holy Ghost, then I want everybody I come in contact with to have the same experience. But can I tell y'all something? You got apostolic holiness preachers that grew up this way, received the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues by tearing for the Holy Ghost, that are now telling people, you don't got to do it no more. Amen. You can have the Holy Ghost and not speak. How? Come on, come you on. Didn't get it that way. Come on. How are they going to get it that Amen. way? Amen. Thank you, before Jesus. I ever abandon it, I'll preach it harder. I'll hold on to it tighter. I won't let it go. Because you've got people that are abandoning it. Things that are essential and necessary. Why would I rob anybody of that experience? I received the power of God that changed my life forever. But I was going to give you an experience with raising your hand, saying a sinner's prayer, going home. Wow. Unchanged. Wow. Not converted. And most of all, not filled. Amen. Why would I rob anybody of that experience? You can't abandon it. Why would we abandon this wonderful lifestyle of modesty? Yes. So all our women can start walking around here looking like prostitutes. Come on. Right. Strippers. And women with no class. Jesus. That's what we look like when we don't dress modestly. Yeah. 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 Amen. And I can't tell the difference between a worldly woman and a Christian woman is a problem. Amen. Amen. If you wear the same thing to church that you would wear to the club, there's a problem. Yes. Amen. Amen. Don't come to the house of God with your lounge outfit on. 
No, no, don't come into the club. Don't come down to God with, 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 with an outfit on that, that you would stand on stage walking out in a strip club with. Mm, mm, mm. I'm talking you coming to worship the Lord. How? Mm. Why would we abandon that? It don't even make sense to sit in and abandon modesty to take on something like that. Can y'all imagine us walking in here one day and, and the standard that we have right now was completely abandoned? And we all just walked in here, and I remember this, just, it wouldn't even feel right. right. It wouldn't even look right. Amen. Why would we abandon something so rich and, and precious to conform, to be liked, to fit in? We were not meant to fit in. See, you are a peculiar people. Amen. You are a royal priesthood. You are a holy nation. We're meant to be different. Amen. Amen. Set an example. That's why he said, come out from among them. Amen. Among them, that's and right. And be separate, saith the Lord. How do you come out from among them, but then you don't separate from them? Right. See, yeah, you just stop going to where they were going, but you still do what they do. Right. You still look how they look. Amen. You still talk how they talk. There's Amen. not a separation. But when there is a separation, that means there is a total difference. Amen. All right, Bryson? Amen. That's right. He's taking it all in. <laughs> it's a total separation. So let him go. We put a difference between holy and unholy. Clean and unclean. It got to be a difference. Amen. We, we, we can't do the same stuff. Act the same way and say we're Christians. We're saved. Right. They got, they got to be a separation, even in the music. Amen. That's right. And I'm all for making things move a little bit. I believe, I believe, I believe. We, we, we can dance. Everybody on and on. We can dance all day. But when it starts crossing the line. Yeah. To where I don't know whether I should twerk. Yeah. That's right. Or if I should just snap up. If I can't tell what to do, if this music makes me feel like I ought to drop it like it's hot and back that thing up, this is the wrong. Yes. Kind of stop. It in no way can glorify God. Amen. Stop trying to spiritualize your carnality. Come on. Amen. It's not going to work. Amen. It doesn't work. Amen. That's like putting a bandage over a wound that needs stitches. Yeah. It's not going to work. And that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to make something holiness that is completely carnal. It's not going to work. You can sanctify Biggie Smalls. Amen. Amen. It's not going to work. Because you might be saying Jesus over the Biggie Small track, but guess what I'm singing in my head? That's right. It's a spirit there. Amen. 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 And you cannot detach the spirit Come on. from what it was originally connected to. Amen. That's the truth. You can talk about whatever you want to talk about, but all I'm saying is I will always love Big Papa. Because that's what the song said. Mm. And the spirit of the song is going to resurrect. Uh huh. Stop trying to sanctify stuff that ain't even to sanctify. Leave it alone. Yeah. God has the ability to give us as musicians and singers and songwriters words and melodies and songs that come directly from heaven. Amen. But we do not need to sample. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Modernize it and try to sanctify it. Amen. Because where there is a spirit of corruption, adultery, mm. perversion, yes, me slapping a few godly words is not going to sanctify. Amen. The spirit that is there. That's right. The spirit of perversion. 
college for corruption is still going to be there. And we bring it into the church. Get into sanctified moments of praise breaks and then we're playing mm, mm, mm. worldly chords. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we're wondering what spirit is in operation. Jesus. And if you ever pay attention, when they hit these certain chords, all of a sudden that's when people really start rousing. Yeah, yeah. And moving and gyrating it and going on. And we say it's the Holy Ghost. But what you just did was you just resurrected the spirit in those people. Right. Amen. From the world. That's right. They just kicked in the gear. And so they moved because they remember that jam from when it was in the world. Yep. Amen. And, and, and it has nothing to do with God. They're not glorifying God by what they're doing. Amen. It's an abandonment. We gotta ever be so careful. I'm, I'm all for progression. But I would not progress that far to where we're gonna get out of the way and abandon. Yes. And substitute. Things that are not glorifying God. Hands lifted. Jesus. All over this room. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. And we're going to pray that as we go, I'm going to pray that we are not a part of that crew mm. that will abandon. Jesus. We will abandon the principles of God. For it. Let it go. Just give it up. Toss it away. Fight for it. There are people that are just giving it up. For money. For membership. Mm. For celebrity status. They just want to be the next celebrity preacher. The next well-known preacher. You know, they want their name and their face in light. And you know, they just want to be it. it, it, it. They just want to be it. Many of them have never been successful. Like nothing else. They got to be successful in ministry. They got to be that next celebrity preacher. And so if to be that, I've abandoned convictions that they abandoned it. But it's not worth it. What will profit a man to gain the whole world and to lose his soul? And what will a man give in exchange his soul. None of this stuff is worth losing what we have. None of us will. So you got to make this thing personal. You got to really internalize this thing. And you got to look into yourself and say, Lord, I, I don't, because here's the thing. Some of you will stand here and say, I'll never do it. But you don't know what life will bring your way. Mm. What compromise, what, what the enemy's going to dress up and present to you. Because some of you will abandon this faith for a man. Come on. Come on. Come on. You just want to be loved. Come on. And the first thing that comes your way. Come on. White teeth, gold teeth, looking nice, dressing nice. And it presents him in a nice fine package. And he'll be the very thing to lure you away, away from the faith. Amen. Don't what you won't do. That's right. Because what you won't do, the enemy will present it to you. That's and right. That's what you will do. That's right. I'm going to try you. I will never. But for that man, they got all the right qualities except for one. Come on. Oh, he got everything on the list. But. Girl, he made the list. He made the list. He everything. He everything. He everything. <laughs> but the one thing he don't have is the God that you serve. Amen. And That's right. This way for him. Brothers, you'll come along. Come on. Get everything right. Come on. Everything. She looks so good. Tell it. I gotta have her. Tell it. But you see clearly, she wants nothing to do with church. My God. Nothing to do with your faith. You know what I'll do? I'd rather suppress my flesh and hold on. Amen, off. amen, amen. Then they get yoked up with the wrong one that's going to draw me away and be like Solomon.
coming and have me serving other gods, bringing their idol gods into the temple of God, desecrating the holy place. Amen. Amen. He said, what we want to say. I'll never do it. I wouldn't do it for no man. I wouldn't do it for a woman. But you do it for a job. Amen. Amen. All the benefits, the package, all of this. Oh my God. I got to do it. Oh, I need it. I need the money. I need the pay grade. I need it. I need it. I need it. And that's how you know you need it so badly. So you abandon. Jesus. You abandon. But you got to trust that God will supply all your needs according to his riches and glory. You don't got to abandon what you believe in your faith for something. It's temporary. Some of us will do it. Amen. The deceitfulness of riches will choke the word right out of us. Don't say what you won't do. Amen. I will present it to you. So today our prayer has to be, Father, help me not to abandon. Please, Jesus. That which is true. That which is right. The most gracious and eternal God. Jesus. Every heart should be praying. Jesus. Pray.